Hello, my friends. Okay, so yesterday we did our first introduction on money, okay? So we learned about the penny, the nickel, the dime, and the quarter. Today we're gonna do um, a couple of things. In this video, we're gonna be reviewing those coins, so we're gonna be reviewing those four coins that we learned about. We're also going to get to see the front and the back of the coin. I have giant versions to share with you, which is super cool. So we're gonna look at those today, and then after that, we're gonna go through and we're gonna make our very own coin book, okay, which is gonna be really fun. Um, all right, so the first thing that we're going to do is look at the penny. Now, if you remember from yesterday, the penny is the only coin that is a copper color. All the rest are like silver. Okay, so here's the front of our penny. All right, and remember who is on the front of our penny. We learned about it yesterday. Remember, he's our 16th president, and he was the one that was president during the Civil War. Okay, remember he has a monument downtown. So who is this? That's right, it's Abraham Lincoln. So here is his picture. On every penny it says, in God we trust, okay? So here's the front of the penny. There's Abraham Lincoln. Now here is the back of the penny. The back of the penny says one cent, because remember the penny is worth how much? One cent, that's right. So on the back of the penny we have the uh, Lincoln Memorial. So this is the Lincoln Memorial. If you go down to Washington, D.C., you'll be able to see it. So this is the Lincoln Memorial, and if you look really closely right here, I'll show you, you can actually see Abraham Lincoln in the middle of the memorial, which is so cool. So we have the front of our penny and the back of our penny. There is the penny, which is one cent. Moving right up to the nickel. If you want to compare size, like I said, the nickel is bigger than the penny, and the penny is smaller than the nickel. See? If I put them side by side, you can see that the nickel is bigger than that penny. Now here is the nickel, and let's go over who is that on the front of the nickel. Remember, he was the third president of the United States. He wrote the Declaration of Independence after the Revolutionary War, okay? And he founded a university that we have talked about at school before, okay? So here is Thomas Jefferson. That's right, if you said Thomas Jefferson, awesome job, give yourself a pat on the back. This is Thomas Jefferson, okay? Now on the back of our nickel, we can see Monticello. Now Monticello is actually where Thomas Jefferson had his house. So on the penny, we have the memorial that we have to honor Abraham Lincoln, but this is not the Jefferson Memorial. This is Monticello. This is actually where Thomas Jefferson lived. So if you can see on the back of the nickel, it says Monticello and five cents. So the nickel is worth five cents. It's silver and it has Thomas Jefferson on the front. Now after the nickel, Remember, we have the dime. So here is the dime. Now to compare it to the other coins, the dime is even smaller than the penny. Remember how I said that that was kind of confusing because the penny is only worth one cent, but the dime is worth 10. So you just have to remember that the guy without the ponytail on the silver coin that's the smallest is worth 10 cents and then compared to the nickel, there's the comparison. So the dime is actually much smaller than the nickel. So on our dime, do you remember the president that we have on the front of our dime? That's right, it's Franklin Delano Roosevelt, or FDR as you can call him. This is Franklin Delano Roosevelt, okay? On every dime it will say Liberty on the front and it has a picture of Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Now if you turn it around, you'll see a torch, okay, and a couple of branches, okay, on the back of each dime. So no houses or memorials on the dime, okay? So 
So here's the back, and the dime is worth 10 cents, okay? It says one dime, okay? And that just means 10 cents because the penny is worth one cent, the nickel is worth five, and the dime is worth 10 cents. So the last coin, of course, is our big guy, the quarter, okay? Now, guys, you know, of course, that these are not life size. These are coins that we use at school so that we can learn them better. But you know, coins are like this big. So if you have them at home, I want you to practice with them. In fact, I have some that I'm going to go grab. Here is the quarter. Now on the quarter, it says quarter dollar. Quarter really means one fourth. And one fourth of a dollar is 25 cents, just like the quarter. Now here is George Washington, okay? Now, as we discussed, these two kind of look alike. Now, there's a couple of things that make the nickel and the quarter different, okay? Now, the quarter, you can see, has a raised edge. Look at all of those little jags on the outside of that corner. Look at the nickel. The outside of the nickel is smooth. It does not have a jagged edge, okay? So that is an, one way that you can tell the difference. The other way is they both have a ponytail. George, or sorry, Thomas Jefferson has a ponytail and George Washington has a ponytail. But look, Thomas Jefferson is wearing his coat and George Washington is not wearing a coat in this one, okay? He's not. So that's another way that you could tell them apart. The last way is just simply by size. Look how much bigger the quarter is from the nickel. The biggest one is the quarter and the smaller one is the nickel. So again, about the quarter, we have George Washington on the front, and it will say, in God we trust as well, just like on the penny. So here is George Washington up close. On the back, we have our <coughs> national bird, which is the eagle, the bald eagle. So here's an awesome bald eagle you can see, and it again says quarter dollar, 25 cents. So the back of the quarter, the eagle, and the front of that quarter, which is George Washington. So we have the quarter, 25 cents, the dime, 10 cents, the nickel, 5 cents, and the penny, 1 cent. We'll go over the backs and fronts of them one more time. Here is our penny, Abraham Lincoln, and the Lincoln Memorial. Here's our nickel, Thomas Jefferson, and Monticello. Here's our dime, FDR, and we have our torch and branches, and the quarter. George Washington on the front, and our bald eagle on the back. All right, I can't wait to make our uh, money book with you. Uh, let's make it all together. See you soon.